The city of Sheboygan recently hired a city manager to oversee the day-to-day -day administrative and operational management of the city. In light of these changes, how would you now define the role of the mayor of Sheboygan? I brought notes like all of us have. And as I listen to everybody speak on the way down, uh, it's interesting because I know we all share the same passion. I'm just going to be to take this mic off my lapel in a minute. But anyway, uh, we're in an interesting situation as we sit up here. I look at the city manager position, which was this particular question. And at first, when it came down, I was not in favor of it. I didn't understand it. To me, it was a move to try to take some power and some energy away from the mayor of the community, which was an elected official who was held accountable by the constituents in that city, or Sheboygan for this case. As I've gotten to see what the benefits of it and how it functions, I am totally in favor of this position. Why? It's simple. We talk about future planning, future growth. To look at it, we need to look backwards. I look backwards. I look backwards. Can I use your mic in a minute, Bob? Uh, I look backwards to 1968 uh, when I graduated from this building and 72 when I left. And I come back, and what I'm looking at today, the planning has fallen far short. It's appalling. And we as a community should not be accepting one thing that's happening right now in any form of our city government. It's confusing activity with accomplishment. The mayor's job is to do outreach to the community, understand the people, be active with the people, unite the people, share the energy, share the passion and love that was Sheboygan when I left. It's gone. It got on a bus and took I-43 South. I believe with all my heart, I'm the only candidate sitting up here that can restore passion and unity in this community, in this community while growing it. We can all say what needs to happen in the city, but what we need to pay big attention to is what's happening outside of it. We need to bring growth to the community. We are not on a plan. Our planning is smoke and mirrors. It is not factual. We need to move forward on bringing business here. And my career has shown the effect that I've had at doing that. And even in the past year in the Harbor Center Business District, I've brought personally five businesses down there and a total of eight that have come to the district. I am not concerned about the future of Sheboygan. I am scared. And it's time for us to step up and become active as a community. I'm involved with two boards, five other committees that I'm involved in, plus six other organizations that I'm involved in in the community to help raise funds for other, other benefits. I'll explain more in a minute. I gotta stop now, but I'll explain more later. Thank you, Randy.